All right, bitches, so we're back for some more Shining Force Resurrection of the Dark Dragon. Um, now, this next battle we're going to be doing today is uh, not really so difficult. Um, it is one reason I do enjoy the original Shining Force so much, is a lot of the battles um, put you in some unique circumstances that Shining Force 2 doesn't really do very much, but Shining Force 3 really, really masters. Now, I was looking through the force, and it appears to me that of our frontline attackers, Mei is actually the weakest physically. So, we're going to give the power ring to Mei. Gort will not need this. Um, oh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? Never mind, never mind. I'm, cha I'm changing up on the fly. Uh, we are actually going to give Max the power ring. Because we are going to be getting a card in the next fight. Um, and in order to get it, we need Max to actually deal the finishing blow. So it's important that Max has got the very, 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 very high attack. Now, let me also go look at this card. So we got the Marionettes card. Let's take a look at it. Actually, it's probably way down here after the... Yeah, yeah, after the skeleton. So we got the Roomfoss Knight. Skeletor. Here's Marionette. Yeah, it does look just like uh, Michelle. Attack with Blaze. But the Marionette uses Freeze. I don't understand. Me so confused. So confused. Okay, yeah, and I decided to give the Power Ring to Max. All right. So we're good. Let's uh, fuck out of here then. And let's head over to Shade Abbey. Hello, bird man. I'm Eamon. Well, bird woman, I guess, because your husband, yeah. Alright, so... You, you can't move. Interesting. Almost lost souls come knock on our door. That's weird. I thought there was like a legendary dude who has big time knowledge here. A princess has been born in Guardiana. Well, Anne Rhee's not, not, like, just born. It's a secret. Okay. Uh, very Japanese again. No ring without permission. No entry without permission. Alright, let's uh, head up here. Let's go see what's up on the bell tower. Don't have a clue. What? Hmm, this music uh, is cluing me in that there might be some not-so-good things going on around here. Alright, so now we're in, like, a crypt. Okay. So this just turned into Resident Evil real fast. Are you alive? What a mansion! You almost became a pale man sandwich. Alright, what do we got over here? Library, quiet please, okay. Altarone is a very poor land. Interesting. So notice how these two people's dialogue appears to be like 20 years late. That's pretty interesting. Okay, so we got some records. All right, let's take a look. Teach the Chosen One of the Great Tat. Oh, like the Shining Force. Okay, that's us. Cool, cool. True form of the legacy of the gods. Oh, shit. Okay. It's true form. Okay. Keep going. The page is torn out. That's bullshit. Hey, but we got Balbaroy's card. Which is interesting because we have not actually even seen Balbaroy yet. Uh, let's take a look at it, though. So, Balbaroy, where is your card? Balbaroy is another bird man, just like, uh, Eamon. Here he is. Um, ally movement type equals flying. Yes. So, very quick, guys. You can see exactly why Maloc gets so broken. Because I could decide, you know what? Max is really good. What if I just made him a flying character for this battle? How does that sound? Yeah, that sounds really broken, doesn't it? Let's do that. Oh my god. Malak, please join the party soon. I'm gonna have so much fun breaking the game. Ah okay, so here's a monster, which... Isn't this like a legendary holy place? Why is there a, zomb a zombie, a Zambambo in here, Mr. Priest? Okay. Oh, why, why the evil laugh? Okay, he's... He basically just said, hey, I'm going to kill you in five seconds. Ah! 
Like, come on, man. All right, so she's just creepily laughing. What do you got, Playboy? Going to Rindo, okay. I think there's money to be made there. Yeah, I mean, that's that seems legit. Oh, it looks like the remake did take out the thing where the people are following you around. Oh, why are you coming out of this grave? Much warmer being in the mud. Yeah, so shit uh, seems pretty fucked over here, huh? Oh, I liked it better when the guys were following you around than the original. Come on. Alright, so let's head into this obvious battleground here. It's a trap! No! Admiral! The Admiral Akbar! No! It's a trap! Okay, so this music, by the way... Yeah, we're gonna be hearing this again in, like, the second to last battle of the game. This is... Okay, yeah, let's see why. Oh my god, it's Dark Soul! Yeah, we'll see you in 30 battles. Oh, but wait, what's this? He knows who Max is. Oh, shit. He's the leader of Runefoss. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, okay, yeah, that priest who was supposed to help us out. What the fuck? Oh, he knew a lot about the legacy. Okay. Oh, fuck. Quite a skilled magician. I put up a terrible struggle. I was seriously wounded. Okay, so at least here's a good reason why Dark Soul doesn't just kill Max right here. Because that magician was like Sir Astral from Shining Force 2. He was a fucking gangster. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of fucked up right now. I don't really have time to uh, fight you. Ghouls! Oh no! Alright, bye Dark. Dark Souls just gonna fuck off now. Win within 8 turns? Yes, I love that. We need a lot of money moving forward. Yeah, you can't leave, you can't retreat from this battle, which is interesting. Oh, uh, and I'm not worried. 8 turns, that is going to be easy peasy, motherfuckers. Okay, so here we are. Um, it is a little off-putting that the the sea battle music is here. They changed up the music music They took out that really awesome like boss theme from so many fights I don't know if I like the sea music being right here, but whatever All right, so this is as you guys can see this is a really really small battlefield These skeletons shouldn't be as strong as when we fought in the cavern of darkness Okay, so Lowe's gonna move forward how let me how high is Lowe's defense? Like 14. Okay, so Lowe oh well Lowe has good defense, but it's not like insane, like in the membrane crazy high. Let me slow too. Interesting that it's 20 MP. Can I get close? I want to see 20 MP is a lot. I'd like to see what the effect range of that is. Oh uh, yeah, let's put low right there. I believe Arthur. And May probably could take out this Sam Bambo right here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because that's why we gave... Oh, damn, I didn't give the power ring to May. Fuck. Uh, Gong, move forward. Yeah, you'll be okay. Tao, let's just get Tao moving over here. Um, Hans can come over this way. May... Oh, May's not going to be able to kill that thing. So, we're not going to worry about it then. And we're going to have May go for this guy. Yeah, zombies, like, aren't really the scariest things ever right now. Uh, let's put Max right here. Can you one-shot this? I'd really like if you did. Yes, good, good, good. Alright, th yeah, this this is a battle where- Whoa! 32 exp- Are you kidding me? Why so much experience? F uh, fuck, I'll take it. Damn. Alright, what do we want to do here? Let's, um... Let's just get Chris moving over here. I just want to set up some good defenses. Here we go. Enrique barbecue this same bambo. Bye. You did. Thanks for playing. Yeah, this 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 is this fight's going to go by real quick. Cuz a, a a fight where we don't have to like run all over the place doing shit. And you know, there's no new characters for me to grind up or anything like that. It's just we're dominating here. <laughs> this, this is where our strength is really going to come into focus. 
Uh, Luke, you can just, yeah, run far forward. Gord as well. Let's block this spot off so the Skeletors can't get into our mages. Poison Max. I don't care. Wow. One. One. What is this game I'm playing? There you go. Poison them. That'll help you out. Oh, please. Attack Max. Max cares so much. Come on, Skeletors. Yes, move in. All right, so this is really going to take us like three turns to finish. Yep. These skeletons are not the, as strong as the Cavern of Darkness one. Go for low. That's okay. Three. Pretty good. Impressive, my man. Can I wipe out all of these enemies in this one turn? Yes. Wow, only eight. Okay, so the skeletons do have good defense. All right, low. Um, you don't have detox two. How about slow two? Ooh. So you know, let's let's do something different. Let's use slow two on these skeletons. Why not? I'm never gonna get a better chance to use it than right here. Oh, all it does is decrease. Oh, okay, okay. I thought slow would also decrease their defense, but it's just their speed. That's garbage. Although it did give him 30 fucking experience. Um, Arthur, I guess we'll go for the Zambambo right here. So, I mean, that really, whatever. I mean, I don't care about lowering their fucking speed at all. Yeah, let's clear some of this, uh... Whoa, Gong! Actually, I shouldn't have had Gong kill the skeleton, because the skeleton will probably give good experience. Okay, Tao will definitely go right here, and we'll burn up some bones. The roof is on fire! Let that motherfucker burn! Oh, come on, one. Yeah, listen, I prepared to uh, finish that last fight off. This fight is nothing to us. We got the marionette card. We got all the tough shit handled already. All right, Max, let's get around and take you out. Clear up this path. I do like that the zombies' levels must have gone up since they're giving us... They're giving us really good experience, actually. Okay, May, you can take him out. Yes, you can. Wow. Wow. I, like, I knew this battle was going to go by smoothly. I did not anticipate this. <laughs> let's, um, <clears throat> let's heal, uh, Max. Because <clears throat> Chris doesn't have detox. Which I guess I would like Low to use on his next turn. And Re can't attack, unfortunately. Ken will go for this Zambambo right here. Fuck you, Zambambo. Bitch! Nine. Okay, Ken. Okay. I see you, Ken. I see you. Well, let's see. We'll have Luke finish off this zombie right here. Good. Oh, nice. Defense, speed. All right. And Gort may be able... To yes, he'll finish you off for sure. Because Gort, with that axe he's got, is close to our heaviest hitter. Wow, these guys are giving great money. Holy shit, we're going to finish this in three turns, probably. Oh, well. Oh, well, not every battle is going to be tough. This battle had its gimmick, which was that Max is split up from the party. But unfortunately, the gimmick wasn't enough to make this fight very tough. Uh, we'll switch over to the spear. We'll put a little damage on the ghoul. Not very much. Gong will not attack the ghoul, because you will probably kill it. Tao. Now, I'm pretty sure the ghoul is highly resistant to magic. Yeah. That just said three. So, he's quite... Oh, 11 experience, so that was well worth it. Holy shit, Max is pretty slow. Alright, Max. Uh... Feel free to uh, finish this uh, battle off. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like uh, we're going to easily get this 1,000 gold coins. 
which I do want because uh, the next town we go to is actually going to have a number of items I'm going to want to buy. Ha! Bye! Wow, I, oh, come on. We did that way, way too fast. Oh, steel ring. Nice. That's awesome. I'd love another steel ring. We got the ghoul card, a thousand gold coins. This shit cannot go better, man. Balbaroy, what is up? Are you telling me we now get two new party members too? Birdman? Thank you. Yeah, what happened? Why did that really awesome priest who's supposed to have all this knowledge get killed? Okay, yeah, powerful warriors. Good, you'll be joining the party then. Oh, Rune, oh, Rune Foss is very... So, it looks like Dark Soul does have some good tactical knowledge here. Uh, trying to... It looks like before he started his all-out war on the world, like, it looks like he was sending maybe some forces to take out some big-time threats that he feared could uh, rise up against him. We'll get more evidence of this in the next uh, chapter, too, with Xylo. So Dark Soul is very smart. I'm impressed. Traveling in search of our lost brethren. And Dark Soul just showed up out of nowhere. Like, what the fuck? Oh, we are no match for him. He was using this attack where he shot, like, demon skulls at us. It hurt a lot. Good thing the priest was here. Oh, you've got a favor. Okay. Oh, hell yeah, you could join us. Fuck yeah, Balbaroy and Aemon. Now, these both of these birdmen are going to be very important in the next chapter to get a couple of really tough, I'm saying really tough clear bonuses. Um, unfortunately, both Balbaroy and Aemon, they're only level 5 right now. So, again... At the next fight, I am going to have to grind them up because, you know, everyone else is at least level 10. So at the start of the next fight, I'm probably going to grind up Balboy and Aemon to level 10. Because their ability to fly is just going to be so crucial to getting these clear bonuses. Really, honestly, it's going to be well throughout the game where their um, flying abilities are going to be very, very useful. Because, like, later on in, like, chapter 7 and stuff, chapter 6, there's, I'm saying, there is really, really hard clear bonuses to get. Where it's like, you have lots of forest and mountain terrain, and it's like, finish this field battle in 7 turns, and you have, like, you know, 10 turns of uh, terrain to move through. So, yeah, the POW plane, I love that area. All right, so these guys are going to guide us to Bustoak, which is good, because we did need a guide. Remember, the mayor's son told us that. All right, so she wants to be kept together. Now, I will grant this request, because basically any time I'm going to use one bird, man, I'm going to have the need for two, not just one. And here she goes and gives us her card. So we get another card. Excellent. 